laki-laking taniman. Walang luto. Parang mga ano, lettuce. Taniman ng lettuce. Say hello. Say hello. Hi, hello. Nandito ako sa Very Big Open Rain Zoo. Where all animals are in the open air. Welcome to Open to Very Big Open Rain Zoo. Feeling young again. Feeling a as if I am a child. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mga kabayan, I'm here at Open Rain Zoo at Werribee. Uh, we, we went to the a restaurant. We are here in Meerkat. Meerkat. Sorry, Meerkat restaurant. We're in Meerkat. It's on the side of the window. Hope a Meerkat will appear. Hi hey everyone. Look at the shape of the tree. It's different. Look at the shape of the tree. It's different. Oh. Your citizen in Redabies. Open rain soon. Uh, we are on African Adventure. Okay, what can you see in African Adventure? Hmm. May bahay ba dun? Safari Adventure. Ah, African hats. African hats. <laughs> Safari station. Safari station. Yeah, hi. Safari station. Before we get everyone on board, let's just take the whole safety net for the to go through. If you put the good before, if you were waiting previously, if you have any food or soft drink, we can please pack that away into your bags. Or we'll discuss it to the nearest bin. And we'll get those gates opened up for you. Thank you so much for visiting Werribee Zoo, and we hope you have an amazing time on the safari tour. Meal. Yeah. Yeah. Meal. Ooh. Jump straight on board. Do you have any plants or anything like that? Nice. Ah, meal. Let's go, meal. To the right hand side, you'll see a beautiful bison, a North American bison, now getting ready for the warmer months. They are shedding their fur. Oh. They do have that iconic hump on their back that they use as a bit of a shovel or a plow so they can sweep the snow away to graze on the frozen grasses underneath. These guys can survive and thrive in temperatures up to about minus 20 degrees Celsius. Thrive in desert environments. They've got multiple sets of eyelashes and eyelids to help keep that sand and dirt out of their eyes. Amazing um, adaptations. What is that? To help them thrive in pretty harsh conditions. I don't know. The animals to our left hand side, a little bit further ahead of our camels, our first African species of the tour. And these beautiful guys are what we call a scimitar horned oryx. Horned oryx. They are native to areas around horned central oryx. northern Africa. 
Capricorn oh, born oak. It looks like a uh, a cow with a horn with a with with a with brown. Have minimal natural predators and threats. It would have been nearly 200 years ago if camels were brought over to Australia to help us build our roads and railways. Have a guest already. Welcome to the home of our hippos. Woo. What's that? Hippopotamus. Oh, hippopotamus. Oh, hippopotamus. Yeah, hippopotamus. They are known uh, as the queens of camouflage because they blend into that water, water very, very well. Oh, queen we of have camouflage. Here. I think on that bank there, that is Panty. She's the daughter. In here is Brenda Bella, her mum. Epipotamus. Panty is nine years old. She weighs 1,100 pounds. I feel like her ass. So she's still got a bit of growing to do. She's about half a ton lighter than her mum. So bring out a group of Indian antelope, also known as the black buck. Oh, we can see the rest of our Miala herd as well. See how well they camouflage. And the Indian antelope here are one of the smallest species of antelope. These guys are all fully grown. They only weigh an average of about 30 kilos. Um, they might be small, but they are very, very quick on their feet. They can reach speeds about 80 kilometers an hour. So they prefer to hang about in more open spaces where if they need to, they can pick up some speed. So a little bit different to the Miala. So we've got some of our female ostrich hanging about our king there. There's a large one. Very interested in what's going on. We also have one towards the front of the bus. She's gonna let us pass. They are one of the cheekiest animals at the zoo, most definitely. These girls love to pick the insects off the front of the buses. Oh, she's right at the front, that's why. But we'll let her shimmy away. We're going to keep rolling forward. We A journey of giraffes collective now when they're on the move is a journey when they're standing together
So we do lots of animal training here at Zoo's Vic um, and majority of it is to help our animals be involved in their own health care. So we like to give our animals here at the zoo choice and control over their environment and our training is always involved in positive reinforcement. So it's like we never would give them a smack for doing the wrong thing, we'd always give them something positive if they've done the right thing. And the cartilage that he uses to help protect his head when they are dry females or their, their territory, they do hit one of them. <laughs> so, social distancing. Come here. Come here. Let's come. 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 Let's They go with the group. No? Did you buy a big job? You want to put your thing? Ready to sew with my senior, the oldest six. six. They want to preserve the Birunga National Park sewing machine center to support the widows of the fallen rangers. So together we can help people and wildlife. See how great they are rangers because they want to help not only the people but also the animals. I have the thing. Oh. This seems to be an anthill preserve. Until this is, uh, that is rangers village. What do you mean by rangers? Rangers are people who take care of the animals, taking good care of them, and they even die while uh, they be protecting the animals. Yeah. Village. That's how an African village looks like. That's how an African village looks like. Pasuka sa bahay ng African. At least may tama. We walk it okay. Yeah. They are rangers. Hmm. This is how an African village looks like. Like in the Philippines, it's, it looks like a nipa hut. A small kubo, bahay kubo. Yung pa oh, hey, braiding. 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 Business hours.
Uh, hello everyone, this is DV and we found this um, African hair braiding hut in Werribee Zoo. I think it's a good place for me to have my hair braided. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> cool. Side view. Yeah. Mm. Hi, going to see it from Very B Open Ray Zoo. What an amazing adventure from African with the concept of African village. 